Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Shive, and this morning we're visiting with Julie Brown. She's one of our 4-H agents here in Warren County. Good morning, Julie. Good morning, Christy. <laughs> well, I truly enjoy watching from the sidelines all of the fun things that 4-H has to offer. You all have so much fun, and I know that you all have a lot of fun things coming up this season. We do. So it's in the fall, and actually we'll talk about 4-H camp, and you're like, Julie, that's in the yes. summer. <laughs> But we have our camp dates, which is really exciting for us so that we can go ahead and start promoting for the summer. I mean, as That's you know, really as a parent, important. we've just come off of, you know, we're working on fall break right now mm -hmm. and we're, you know, we're thinking about Christmas, but it's never too early to think about summer. Absolutely. So 4-H camp is open to anybody that's nine years old to 15 years old. Okay. And our dates is July the 21st through the 24th of 2020. And what we do at 4-H camp, so we have, you know, we take both boys and girls, they have their own separate sides of camp, but during the day they take classes, and these classes can vary from anything from riflery, archery, um, canoeing, kayaking, fishing, photography, wow. movie making, arts, crafts, cooking, you know. So there's last, something for oh, everyone. Oh, there's something for everyone. Disc golf, horseback riding, high and low ropes course, you know, a slingshot range now, oh. that's a really cool range. So. You know, there's something there for everyone. My kids, um, my oldest one, this will be his third year going with me to yes. camp. He started going um, to Cloverbuck Camp, which is something we can talk about another time, for, with the five through eight year olds that we also offer. And he loves it. I mean, that's just something that he likes to do. And he, he has a blast. And I, you all posted some videos <laughs> from this past camp from our year. water slides. Yes. And yes. It's so much fun. And like you said, it's never too early to plan because our schedules, they get booked up so fast. So this is really a great time to think about it. There is. And so you might be like, well, she's talking about it, but I don't know what camp looks like. Well, camp is doing a clover fest the end of October. So it's right around the corner. Okay. So it's July or July. <laughs> October the 26th and 27th. Okay. Um, with that, so it's open two days, so you know, whatever works best with your schedule, you know, you're more than welcome to attend. So the um, purpose the of this, Julie, is to just give everyone a glimpse of where camp, where camp is, is going to be. They okay. are going to do a 5K, so if you are interested in doing 5Ks, you can um, contact the Warren County Extension Office and we can get you that contact information. But with the 5K, you get registered and you'll run the campgrounds. You'll wow. run some of our nature trails is what you will run. You know, they're going to have that at night, they're going to have a haunted hayride. So you have to be 10 years old or older to do the haunted okay. hayride. Um, but that's going to take you through part of our campgrounds as well towards back towards our ropes course and our horse barns and things like that. Did you say it's overnight, Julie? It is. It's two days. It's okay. not overnight. Okay. But, so okay. you can pick and choose which day. They're also going to do a spaghetti dinner. Um, one night that you can go and participate now, in. Now, where well. is this going to be at? Where is the lo location? So it's at West Kentucky 4-H Camp, which is in Dawson Springs. Okay. So you get on um, the West Kentucky Parkway and you go like you're doing towards Paducah, and then you get off of the Dawson Springs exit, and it's about two miles off of the parkway. Okay. So it's not very far. You know, it's about an hour and a half from Bowling Green, so it is a little bit of a drive. But they're going to have pumpkin paintings and things like that for the kids to do as well. Is that a Friday and a Saturday? I think so, yes. Okay, so, so, and they just choose one day yeah. or the other. Can yeah. they come to both days? They can if they want to. Okay, all righty. So, Julie, how do they get signed up if they want to attend the the Clover Fest? So, the Clover Fest, if you're interested in attending the Clover Fest, you can either contact the Warren County Extension Office. It's 270-842-1681, and we can get you to that. Or you can also, um, they have a West Kentucky 4-H camp. Facebook page okay. and you can go to that as well and you'll find all the details on there as well. Okay, so this sounds like a really fun activity. If your child has thought about attending a summer camp but maybe they're a little apprehensive, this sounds like a great opportunity. There's no overnight commitment. And they'll, you know, be able, you as a parent will be able to feel for the camp and then you can think about, you know, coming in July, being able to send your child to camp with us. You know, we always need volunteers to go with us as camp. The camp staff is there, but we always have to have cabin leaders, and those are always either adult volunteers that we have 
or as parent volunteers that want to go, you know, to be with their child for that summer. So you were more than welcome to have both as well. Now, Julie, if someone is watching from a different county other than Warren County, do they just need to contact their local they, extension with office? With 4-H camp, they need to contact their local extension office to find out the dates because we all have different dates. All right. Um, but with Cloverfest, they can contact their local extension office and they can give them the exact same information. All righty. Well, for more information on 4-H program, give your local extension office a call. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.